Yes, which organ is this? Testis. Okay, whenever the specimen of testis is there, it is always with the spermatic cord. Okay, this upper part that I am holding here, this is referred to as spermatic cord. Okay, and this lower part we can see the testis. And when you hold and identify the testis, you will have to identify the side of the testis. This testis is of which side? Okay, it could be of left side or right side. So how will we identify? So for superior and inferior, I'll say the spermatic cord is on the superior aspect. For anterior and posterior, I'll say the epididymis is on the posterior aspect. Okay, this part is the anterior border. Posterior border is having this epididymis. Okay, and for medial and lateral, I can see this space here called as the sinus of epididymis. Okay, sinus of epididymis is ref is on the lateral aspect. Okay, can you see the sinus of epididymis? There is space between epididymis and the testis that is referred to as sinus of epididymis. Okay, this space in which I am putting the forcep here, this one is the sinus of epididymis. That should be on the lateral aspect, and that's how we identify this testis is of the right side. Okay, if it is a left-sided testis, this sinus would be on on the other side, left side. Okay, so this is the testis of the right side, and what are the coverings of the testis? Tunica vaginalis, then white tissue that we can see here, that's the tunica albuginea, and tunica vasculosa is the innermost. Okay, so you need to identify the testis, and the uh, side determination is very important as far as practical is concerned. So in male reproductive organs, only this testis is there in practical exam, so make sure you practice it. Okay, and then female reproductive organs, this specimen would be there. Okay. Yes, which specimen is this? Try to identify. Yes, when I see from the anterior aspect, specimen of uterus with fallopian tube with ovaries. Okay, so this is the superior aspect of the uterus called as the fundus of the uterus. This is body of the uterus. There is cervix, and below here, this part is the vagina. Okay, and through the vagina, when we see, we can see the opening of the cervix. There is an opening called as external os. Okay. Okay. O S external os opening would be seen. That's the opening of cervix. Okay. Then identify this fallopian tubes on each side and identify the ovary. Okay, this one is the ovary. And when you hold it in anatomical position, this ovary should be on the posterior aspect. Okay. You have to hold it in such a way that ovaries are on the posterior aspect. Okay. If you hold it like this, it becomes wrong. Ovary should not go anterior; it should come on the posterior aspect. And when you say the name of the organ, don't just say only uterus, because this specimen is having uterus, fallopian tubes, ovaries. Okay, many other structures are there, na? At times, students say this is a specimen of uterus. Okay, but we are expecting more. The specimen of uterus with fallopian tubes, ovaries, as well as some part of vagina. Okay. And different parts we saw fundus body, then the broad ligament that we can see on each side. Okay, the broad ligament, the peritoneum which covers the uterus on each side, that's referred to as broad ligament. Okay, there are ligaments posterior and anterior to the fallopian tube. Posterior to the fallopian tube, towards the ovary, there is a ligament called as ovarian ligament. And anteriorly, some thickened band would be seen. Those are referred to as round ligament of uterus. Okay, anteriorly there is round ligament. Posteriorly there is the ligament of the ovary called as ovarian ligament. Both ovaries, everyone can identify, right? So make sure you identify this organ. And for practicals, also read about the topic supports of uterus. Okay, you may be asked how the uterus maintains its stability. Okay, so this is uterus. then this is a very unique specimen having uterus urinary bladder as well as kidneys everything in one specimen okay this specimen has got kidneys can you see the both kidneys with the ureter okay so look at the kidneys ureter as well as the urinary bladder uterus With fallopian tube, okay. So multiple things are there. When urinary bladder and uterus are together, make sure you keep the urinary bladder anteriorly in anatomical position. Urinary bladder lies anterior to the uterus, right? So urinary bladder should be anterior and uterus should be posterior. 
if it is an only specimen of uterus look at the ovaries ovaries should go on the posterior aspect here broad ligaments are seen very clearly can you see this transparent sheet like structure that's the broad ligament okay this one okay what are the three different parts of broad ligament meso salpings in relation with the fallopian tube meso ovarium in relation with the ovary and meso metrium in relation with the body of the uterus mesometrium three parts of broad ligament okay 